Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to continue looking at our wordless book. Let's take just a moment and review what we've covered so far. Remember our first page, uh, the black represents the sin in our heart before we've asked Jesus to come live in our heart. Our heart is dark with sin. The next page that we did yesterday is red, which shows the blood of Jesus. Remember, because Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood for us, that is the only way that we can have a relationship with God. Now, I told you that this story was going to unfold into something amazing. It's starting to get really good. Friends, this next page is a white page. Let me go back to the example that I used about a day or so ago. Let's say you go outside and you play in the dirt and the mud and you stop at your front door and you try to come into the house. Your mom's probably not going to let you in. She's going to say, wait a minute, you can't come in here. You're all dirty. But if she takes you in and gets you in the bathtub and scrubs all the dirt and the mud off, you're going to be clean. That's pretty much what happens in our hearts. When Jesus died on the cross, his blood cleanses, washes the dirt and the sin off of our hearts and makes our hearts as white as snow is what God's word says. Let me read a verse to you in the book of Romans. That's the book that we've been in that talks about this. Romans chapter 10, verses nine through 10. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. That's a lot of big words there. Friends, I want to tell you what those verses are saying. I keep using these words with you, asking Jesus to come live in your heart, having relationship with Jesus. What these verses is saying is this. If you want to have a friendship with God, if you want Jesus to come in and do what we're talking about here, Come in and clean your heart and make it white as snow. If you want forgiveness for your sins, these verses say that if you will confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Easy words, friends. Something very similar to this. God, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've messed up and I've disobeyed, but I believe that Jesus is your son. I believed he died on the cross for my sins. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my heart, clean out the sin, make me clean, and help me to live a life that obeys you. That's what these big words in these verses are saying. When we choose to do that, when we choose to ask Jesus to come in and clean our hearts, that's how we have a relationship with God again. Remember, our sin separates us, but the blood of Jesus and our asking him to come in and live in our hearts brings us back together with God. Now, in the next day or so, I'm going to talk some more about how you can do that. You may have some questions about how to do that. There's a very simple prayer that you can pray to do that. And tomorrow, we're going to continue with the rest of our book. What I want you to do today, though, is to think about the words that I've said to you. Think about the words that I've explained to you as written in God's word about our sin, what Jesus did to pay for our sin. He died on the cross and how his blood comes in and cleans our heart and makes us white as snow. And because of that, we can be saved. We will have salvation. Those are some words that you may hear. If you want to be saved, or uh, another way to say it, have a relationship with Jesus. When you ask him to come in and live in your heart, he forgives you of your sins. And he promises that you will live forever with him in heaven. I want you to think about those things. And tomorrow when we come back together, we're going to do the next part of our wordless book.